So hello everyone. Today I had a wild hair up my butt and I wanted to repaint my KitchenAid. Now I got this KitchenAid for $45 uh, from a guy out of Nashville and it's perfect. It was just white and everything worked on it. It just didn't come with no attachments. So I, that's what it was, KitchenAid Classic. I went to Home Depot today, and I picked out this color, Pearl Mist Rustodium. It's got an uh, iridescent, metallic look to it, and this turned out perfect. This is three coats. I'm going to put another coat on it at, tomorrow after this dries. This turned out perfect. We have a problem here. I got in the hairy, and this is a hot mess. This is the end result. So take your time and do it properly. And you won't wind up with newspaper stuck to it. And I just got in a hairy because this turned out so pretty. Oh God, it turned out pretty. So I got in a hairy and this is the end result. This is a no-no. This is what you don't do. So I'm going to have to resend this and um, I'm going to put a uh, one coat on it tomorrow, a light coat, and then I'm going to go from there. Um, after all is said and done, I'm hoping to put this triple thick glaze on it. Um, but I'm going to test it out on something before I put it on there. But I'm hoping that it don't get that, you know, that pearly iridescent. I hope it don't take away from that because that's gorgeous. So I'm going to put another coat on tomorrow on these two. And then I'm going to sand this down and put another coat on it. So this is a no-no. This is what you don't do. Don't rush. Just take your time and do it. So I took pictures. And I'm going to do it like a blog of how I broke it down. These are all the parts um, that came off of it. And I used 120 grit sandpaper and you just need a felt screwdriver and a flat, flat head screwdriver and a hammer because you're going to have to take the pin out and you know just take your time and do it and this is something I didn't do and I want to kick myself in the butt but because now I got to do extra work but I think it's all worth it because this color is so freaking pretty Okay, so everyone, enjoy your day. Go out and do something you enjoy doing. This is something I enjoy doing. I hope this helps someone in repainting their KitchenAid. Um, I think it's going to be beautiful when I get through with it. So the next video, hopefully, will be it put back together and the final product. Um, I have got another KitchenAid. Uh, mixer, professional mixer off uh, Facebook out of um, Nashville and I only paid $25 for it. But it was built in the 50s but the motor is shot. So I'm looking for someone to rebuild the motor. I thought it was the cord so I had my husband change out the cord but it wasn't the cord. It's the motor. So I'm an avid DIYer. I try to do everything on my own. So go out, just step out of your comfort zone and do something out the ordinary. Okay, so next video, hopefully it'll be this KitchenAid Classic repainted in this pearl mist color. Okay, everyone have a blessed day. And I hope this video <laughs> tells you the the no-nos I'm doing repainting your KitchenAid. This is a boo-boo. This is a major boo-boo and a major setback. Okay, bye.